The transition of whales from land to sea is one of the best documented examples of macroevolution in the fossil record. The first cetaceans lived about 50 million years ago and resembled wolves with hooves. Over time, their hooves evolved into flippers. Their nostrils became their blowholes and their bodies streamlined until they became extremely specialized for life in the ocean. But they're not alone. Land mammals returned to the ocean at least seven separate times. Two of these lineages went extinct, but five of them still exist today. Cyrenians, cetaceans, pinnipeds, sea otters, and polar bears. Together, these five clades are collectively known as marine mammals. Since they're mammals, they have several things in common. They're warm-blooded, produce milk for their young, they have a broad neocortex region of the brain, three middle ear bones, and fur, or hair. Yes, whales and dolphins have hair. The bumps on the face of a humpback whale are tubercles, and each has one or two tiny hair follicles. The other thing that connects marine mammals is that they all depend on ocean ecosystems for food and survival. But how and why did their terrestrial ancestors go back into the sea after millions of years on land? 